The Friday is the one day for the year that the Catholic Church the world over does not have a celebration of Holy Mass. Instead, the believers start the day by going on a journey, the Stations of the Cross, to remind them of Christ's journey to Calvary over 2,000 years ago. For the community of Our Lady of Perpetual Help, the day was also a time to address the crime situation that seems to plague Trinidad and Tobago. In a dramatic production, the youth created scenes that are often plastered in the news. Reports say that young Michelle Johnson was brutally murdered and her body was found. Oh God! This as they questioned whether those in authority were making the right decisions to deal with the problem. How much minister security they change already? <laughs> Only one of my again, my darling. And I can clearly see that that is not the answer. But they did not stop there, pointing out that each citizen plays a role in winning the fight against crime. So what is the answer? The people who oh, you be responsible. You think bandit and killer just get up one morning and decide to steal and kill? If God don't build the house, sweetheart, the masons toil in vain. Parish priest Father Martin Suju believes the message of peace over violence must be taught from a young age as he shared his opinion on corporal punishment. But one uh, thing I firmly believe in is that we have to try to find non-violent ways of living so that if we live from young non-violently, then our society will become less violent. The walk ended at around 7.30, earlier than previous years, which sometimes saw the ceremony going past 8.30 a.m. Janine Brown, C News.